said, my name's Melissa Sweet. I'm a public health journalist um, and, you know, so proud and honoured to be here standing in this place. Okay. Um, really like to um, pay my respects to the traditional owners of this country, the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation, and really um, very grateful to Uncle Colin for the beautiful welcome to country and to Vaz for hosting the launch of this Crokey Go. How, you know, it was just so uplifting and inspirational to share in that storytelling around the history of this place. So thank you very much for that. And um, today really is a day for sharing stories. So as we walk, you know, encourage you all to walk and talk and share your stories. Um, if you're wondering uh, what a Crokey Go is all about, I won't go into it in detail now, but hop online, go to croaky.org and on our front page we've published a sort of philosophy of Crokey Go piece so you can read, read about it there. Um, we're a public health news project. We have a focus on health equity and disrupting mainstream narratives around health. Uh, I'd like to, um, before I introduce some of the croaky people here today, I, it's really lovely looking around the crowd and seeing a number of people who are contributors to croaky. There's Ruth and uh, I saw Yeti Kingsley before and Dr. Tess Ryan and other people here. You know, we, we really rely on people contributing to us as a very low budget independent media organisation. So this is a really terrific opportunity to see some of those people in real life as well. So. Um, the people here from Crokey who are going to help share the discussions. Um, I'd like to acknowledge as well, not only all of you here for joining in and, and sharing your time, but people who are joining us online. So it's very important that this is a virtual event as well as a real life event. So we encourage those of you who are using Twitter and other social media channels to hop online to tweet, tweet and um, take photographs as you walk and share your thoughts, because we will also be going to that um, Twitter thread to look for your thoughts when we're compiling our stories. So it is a way of getting your voice out as well. So we have here, where's Mari McInerney? <laughs> Mari McInerney, um, so you've got things that you'd like to get out, grab one of the croakies. So there's Mari, there is Rebecca Thorpe, you can see her in her beautiful shoes and shirt. And thank you also for bringing Zella and Harpo. Um, Paul O'Connell is there as well. And there is the beautiful Amy Coops. And Violet, Amy is an editor at Crokey. She's here on a day off, oh, believe it or not. <laughs> so um, wonderful to meet the newest member of the Crokey team there. Really like to give a big shout out to the Northwest of Melbourne PHN for sponsoring this event. You know, it's no, um, it's a big deal, I, I think, to have a health service sponsoring an open journalism event like this. So really think it speaks to the culture of the organisation that they're willing to do this. So thank you very much. Uh, just some practical matters. We're walking in public places. We will be walking while tweeting. I mean, how more um, <laughs> challenging can you get? So please be conscious of your safety. We are a large group. Just keep an eye on the traffic and look out for each other.